Hi, I'm Jeremy here with MyHosting.com, and today I'm here to show you how you can get started with Linux VPS by MyHosting.com. So once your Linux VPS account has been activated, you'll receive an account-ready email with all of your login details for your MyHosting on-cloud control panel. Uh, that control panel allows you to manage everything about your VPS uh, from accessing Plesk uh, to logging into Virtuoso Power Panel uh, as well as upgrading and downgrading your plan through the billing section. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is log in. From here we have a list view of all the subscriptions that you might already have in your OnCloud account. Uh, so for now we're going to click on our Linux VPS And from here, we're going to click on our VPS and VPS management. Here we can see the basic details uh, of our VPS system, uh, including the host name, IP address, um, the OS template that it's using, uh, its status, uh, as well as links to log into Virtuoso Power Panel uh, by IP address and by host name. Now you can update the host name or, or the OS uh, as well as stopping and starting the container all from your on-cloud control panel. So you never actually need to log into the server. Uh, you can manage everything straight from here. Uh, similarly, there's an Applications tab. This tab allows you to manage all of the various templates and uh, software that you can install into your Virtuoso container. Uh, by default, uh, if you've ordered Plesk, you get many of the basic Plesk templates but there are also many other applications that you can choose from uh, as well as additions to Plesk that you can add in from here. Similarly, if you've purchased uh, any additional IP addresses, those can be added from the IP addresses tab. Next, if you want to manage your Parallels Plesk panel uh, installed on your VPS, click Parallels Plesk panel in the left nav. From here, you'll have your basic uh, login details. Uh, they're actually auto-login links, um, but they can also be used and copied and pasted into a browser uh, and accessed directly. From here, you can change your admin password or reinitialize your container if you've made any uh, adjustments. Now we're going to log into Plesk. You'll get security warnings because a security certificate hasn't been installed, but we can accept those and move in. And you agree to the uh, Plesk agreement, and here you have the Plesk interface. You'll also notice that any domain that you happen to have registered uh, is already set up within uh, your system as a default web space. Uh, this allows you to have a default website and manage a uh, number of services under that domain. So last but not least, we'll just take a look, quick look at the billing section of your control panel. So when you logged in, you had your list of services. From here, you can actually just click Billing. And if you want to manage your existing services, uh, you can just click Manage Subscriptions. You'll see we have a list of services here, even ones that have been cancelled previously. Uh, if I wanted to upgrade uh, my Linux VPS, I would just click on that plan here. Upgrading resources, I can do with this button here, or I can upgrade my Plesk license, or any other license you may have uh, set up from the Licenses tab. Clicking on my Plesk license and choosing Upgrade License. From here I have a selection of the various upgrades that are available and as well as adding Virtuoso Power Pack uh, to the license. So I'm going to upgrade to the hosting suite in order to get Site Builder and uh, Plesk Billing License. Place my order. And the order has been placed. Shortly after, uh, you'll receive an activation email, and that will uh, inform you that you can now up, uh, log into your Plesk VPS and see the changes. 
If I refresh, I'll see that it's just waiting. And as you refresh, you'll see that the status changes, and eventually you have an installed Plesk Panel Hosting Suite license. So now if I go back to my Plesk Panel, you can click Tools and Utilities, License Management, and you can see that you now have unlimited domains uh, with your license as well as all the features that you would expect. Similarly, the control panel is now prompting me to install Business Manager, which is Plesk Billing, uh, and that's because the license now includes a certain number of users with that. Okay. Those are the basics. See you next time.